Happy Saturday, Gorilla Dunk Daily. We're going to start with a reading from Legendness again as we work through the first half of 1990. Stay up for all the family updates. We got the Othello boys doing big things in London and about to go on tour and smash it with new videos. Of course, our basketball documentary and the professionals we know and love in the family. Random updates. Here we go. Uh, number one song in the country, Black Cat, October 24th, 1990. Oh, precious Saturday morning. My favorite time slot of the week, as then as it remains, holy and now, Saturday morning, were great minutes. It was as grand as I was retarded, and it fit. Happiness was paramount outside of my biggest fear, which was a widely watched public beatdown administered by any or many of the upper-class cliques of the holy status quo obsessed with hating my guts. I refused to accept something inevitable. I'd never soon forget that night in Sugar Ray's, the night before my first day of high school, scanning over Porsche's last year's high school yearbook at my old club Sugar Ray's. And I got highlighters out. The amount of legitimate threats out there in this Jurassic bigger world highlighted my few allies, which I hit with the highlighter, no sense not being super aware of those. <laughs> Part of the rite of passage in a story teenage ascent and ecstasy is encoded in the unwritten but widely understood code went something like this. Dude, you're white, I'm white, we're all white, it's great. These are some of the privileged things that whites are going to do. It's a long tradition. Don't fuck it up. And always, dude, if you don't, you're going to get your ass kicked. Especially in high school. I've been hearing it since I was 10. The very next week in school and the need to polarize skinny teenagers together to stem a shrinking confidence was evident. The only rule is that you had to be a freshman to get in. I guess you could say I wanted to start a gang for traditional reasons. I wanted to push people. And these were still the days, greasers, socials, reformatory kids... Everyone cared on some level, and you could get away with so much. I had built a small reputation calling people out. No fear, although I'd never rocked the gear. Plus, we needed something to do. High school was here. I needed a liftoff. Magic had peered so indiscriminately at a few situations already, and it was obvious he was cashing in his Hayden chips going with an older crowd, paying respects, saying little. I was going the other way, and that was a street he'd refused to ride on. And in his mind, who started a gang in a story anyway? A reasonable question. No one started a gang in a story. But it was already in play. Crews across the top ten click countdown rocked matching sports caps, thus honoring a fraternal instinct of male teenagers. A subtle nod to something kids tended to overdo. And this was just high school. And this was high school, but everything was accelerated. The coolness paramount. Extreme. To be a legend, the time was now. Narrow and short-sighted, just the way it happened. And freshman year was a dangerous place for kids that couldn't keep their mouth shuts under any circumstances. A dangerous place to be for kids that hated classic rock, spit on its guitar riffs, and tired universal acceptance. Our parents were baby boomers, and the 60s had exploded back into youth consciousness after rock evolution had hit a skid of mascara and eyeline their way right out of the discussion of what good music is all about. In a new decade and shirty circumstances in the hangover of the bloated 80s secured the fact music was going to have to say something again. And that something was hip-hop. Rap music, my holy grail. And like the 60s, it was just for us kids. It was all happening again. If you couldn't see it, you'd never be freezing. So the only rule was you had to be a freshman to get in. That and you had to love hip-hop and I was the leader. And I wore my own special hat. <laughs> I had seen what happened to the boys in my sister's summer center courts over this past summer. It wasn't going to happen to me. Senior football guys pulled up in unmarked white vans to the court's baseline, Iranian style, and bagged heads four or five like terrorists, terrorists snatching victims. The center courts had become a spot to hang with a payphone right there, readily available. Plus, basketball was a safe zone, and given the town's appreciation of the support, always drew a buzz.
Yo, happy Saturday. It's my day. I hope you like the way I read from this novel. I'm trying to complete and still be delete and things that are right that make no sense. I need sequencing. Yep, both here. Final Cut Pro when I do a documentary to go with this, yo. And just know, yep, my pop is in town. Summer crush this morning. Flew out of town on the ground in Montana. She gonna land two hours from now. God damn, watching that Geo shoot the nicest Jellystone Park that you ever seen the ripest. Little thighs of Nate Nature, nothing uh, is greater than preserving these commodities that we have a scarcity of. And just show much love in everything you do, balance is required. Yeah, I love you.